guys, it's Nana. I wanted to film like a little vlog today since I'm going out. This would honestly be like my first video I've ever posted on YouTube, but I just wanted to come here and say hi. But this is the fit for the day. I'm actually wearing uh, some jeans and just my Pumas because it's kind of raining outside and like if I'm running errands, I don't want to be all dressed up. But yeah, the sweater is from H&M. Jeans are from American Eagle. American Eagle. Pumas are from JD. But I just wanted to kind of film like a little shopping vlog today. Kind of like a, maybe like a little self-care vlog since I need to go shopping at Target, Sephora. Um, I think I want to go into, into the mall. So like I'll probably film a little bit in there. But yeah. I'm kind of feeling like just a little bit bloated today, but please don't mind that. I'm going to go to Sephora today to like get some new products, some viral products, but I just wanted to see how, I don't know, like I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to say you're lying because I don't film in public. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now we just got to the mall and it's raining and I'm so pissed off because like my hair is kind of puffing up. Of course, she got something from Sephora. We're about to go into another one in the mall and then going to look for some like dresses and stuff or graduation graduation pictures so, yeah let's go now we're going to sephora Charlotte Tilbury. I'm looking for, I think they're setting powder. Okay, so I just ended up picking the Charlotte Tilbury up. Helping my sister pick out like a Sephora concealer shade. Okay, the music is loud, so I'm not gonna like talk. This is currently what I have in my car. It's already like. I told you it was thick, but I like their, like, I heard their concealers are really, really good for some reason. I heard they're, like, really good. This is what I wanted to try, the Cali Ray. I found the Tarte Maracuja. I heard these are, like, really good, so I might want to try one. Alright, we're out of the mall now. We're about to go to Target. And also a bee landed on my car. He is so freaking cute. He's like cleaning himself. You see him? Like he's so freaking cute. Oh. So now we are tired. I'm gonna like just smell some of the tree hut scrubs. Sun kiss her hair by like peach and hobby. I don't know. Like this one doesn't smell bad. Maybe this one's any bad. It's not bad. Tropical mango. Oh my gosh. This one, this smells good. I really like this. I like this one smells. I really like this one. Oh my gosh. Should I get it? Should I get it? It smells so good. I got my I heard the oils were good too, like the shade yeah, oils really good. Yeah. I wish they had tropical mango in a shade scrub. I would definitely do that. Okay, my arms are officially killing me from taking a thumbnail. But as you can see here, I have finished with my shopping trip. And I'm sorry if like I'm filming in front of my window and like you can see the blinds sort of kind of let me see if I can open them wait for a second okay we're gonna have to just deal because my blinds are like super duper bright it's already bad enough I'm wearing a white shirt so we're gonna have to deal this is kind of like a makeup slash self-care haul and so I'm actually gonna do the self-care first because this is a lot in these two bags so and I'll tell you the total it came up to but First, I went to TJ Maxx 
and we went into the mall and like they were having a whole bunch of sales I'm talking like on sporting goods on like uh ottoman types of things even in sephora like they were having like i think 30 something percent off but i ended up getting from tj maxx when we had went over before the malls like it's a little shopping outlet and i had to end up getting a new shower uh liner thing i needed this they only cost like seven dollars and i just replace it every month and i also ended up getting this um smooth cream i don't know if you can see that it's like a smooth cream and i've been looking for this brand specifically and i can only ever find them like in walmart or like in tj maxx or marshall's so it's the coconut and vanilla hydrating shea butter and it helps with ingrowns and redness now i would personally only use this product i don't say this product can you see the label at all that's really use this product on my legs or like if I'm just want to rub it on my legs or like on my arms fine but everywhere else is like a no-no for me but it's so hard to open this like I think I have to run it under some hot water and see if it'll come loose but yeah I have been looking for this and surprisingly I found it at TJ Maxx and it was only six dollars I also ended up getting this really cute water bottle I don't know what it is I cannot commit to getting a Stanley you know like I love the shape of the Stanley's like it's literally shaped the same way just with a handle but it's something about like the straws I personally don't like like I have to have something like this where I can just sip out of because I run and I really want to start giving back into it and so like when I'm running I can hold the handle or like if I'm just working out the gym just pick it up really quickly and I don't have to clean the straw like one of those cleaning things and clean it with these i use a different tool and i think this comes with a straw and this only cost me 15 yeah it comes with two straws on the inside but i love the way this is shaped and i love the color of it i was going to get like a brown one like a like a, a mocha color but i saw this one i was like no this is definitely my color and they had a hot pink one i was like oh hot pink pink is my weakness <laughs> but um I just want to try something different and I absolutely am in love with this color. I had to just re-up on some self-care things because I already have a lot in my bathroom, but the current stuff I recently used, I want to do a um, self-care video or like a glow up kind of video. And so I'm going to use some of these new products. Oh wait, that's a different item. But I just got three things from Target, which is Everybody on YouTube, everybody on TikTok knows what these are. These are the multivitamins for women. These retail for, I think, $18 or $12. It's just, they have like a big liter, but I have already ran out of my first one like this. I've been taking them every single day, and I absolutely love these. And I usually use the actual Dove bar of soap. And so, like, I just got the Dove body wash. This is, like, I think the same kind as the soap. This is a deep moisture body wash, 24 hours, and it smells, it smells so good. Like, usually if I use body wash, I use them with a loofah, and I change them out every single week. Or I use, like, a really thick body cloth, like, the really, the African kind of, like, cloths. That's the ones I use. <laughs> um, I love using body washes, but nothing, like, too fragrancy because, again, I have very sensitive dry skin. Uh, specifically on my body like especially like on my chest area so I have to be careful with what kind of body washes I use and I can't use certain scrubs so I would suggest if you have dry skin or even like sensitive skin Dove I used to use dial like bar soap when I was going through a period of like transition like I'm I'm 21 years old and my body's still getting used to hormonal changes being on birth control and being on so many different things I need to go back to the basics and Dove is that basic so yeah and the last thing I got I'm pretty sure everyone has seen this in so many self-care hauls trust me I have been obsessed with this product and seeing this on so many YouTube platforms it's just like oh the EOS is the way to go and my sister even put me on to this lotion I got the EOS 24 hour moisture body lotion in coconut waters out of all the scents that I tried or I smelled this one, this one smells so good. 
and I, I'm not a vanilla person. I, I, it freaks me out. Like vanilla literally just makes my nose go batshit. Like I don't like it. But coconut, I can handle. But I smell the pomegranate one and the vanilla one. And I think they have some, like a peach one. I don't know if they sell that at my Target, but they had coconut waters and they had the non-fragrance one. I was deciding between the non-fragrance and the coconut waters. But since I don't have any lotion or fragrance, just give it a try and hopefully my skin does not break out. And sneakers, I really needed some more workout shoes or even like running shoes at that. And this is what they look like. They are so freaking cute. I love that they have platform at the bottom. So like when I run, it feels literally like a cloud. I'm not trying to touch the bottom, that is not my thing. But um, when I run in these, they're like a cloud. And because I have such flat feet, these help a lot with like the ground. As you can see, I have worn them already and they are the best workout shoe. Shout out to my mom for the recommendation. She works out all the time. She is in shape, but she recommended me these because I do have flat feet like her. But these retail for about a hundred, a hundred something dollars. And that's rare for me. I don't ever spend over like $80 on running on shoes when it comes to sneak like running sneakers. But I needed something that was good quality since I did have an injury in the past. So this is my motivation. Keep that in mind. But I literally went in the mall um, and I bought something from Francesca. The packaging is like so freaking pretty. And it's in the shade in the shade. It's in the one garden party. And I think my sister got the one that's like ocean breeze or something like that. But it's so so pretty. I'm gonna open it right now. Excuse my nails, they need to be done again. But this smells so good. It smells like just fresh air. Like you know how you would go into like I wouldn't say the woods, but like in nature, it just smells so pretty. The notes are wet pineapple, pomegranate, passion fruit sorbet, coconut waters, um, wild strawberry, and velvet musk, and driftwood. So I'm getting that. Like, I'm really, I'm really smelling all of that. It smells so good. Wait, I got to put a little bit on right now. This smells so freaking good. She's going to be last. I'm going to do Ulta first. It's only a couple of things in here. I ended up picking up the e.l.f. brow lift. And this is like the clear one it's infused with aloe and my sister again she recommended this to me influence of paloma on tiktok i absolutely love her page this is the nyx suede matte lip liner in the shade cold brew and then the last product i got from alta was the pixie sheer cheek gel and this is in the shade flushed and the reason why I bought this is kind of like an influence because I was re-watching Bridgerton and I was wondering what uh, the girl who played Daphne, I can't remember her name, I absolutely love her. And I think they use this product on one of the Sharma sisters as well. Um, but this is the cheek gel. Because at first I had got the wrong color, I got natural and I, I tried it on, I was like, it's too light for me. I need something more kind of darker. And I've never tried a gel a gel kind of blush before I went to mac i ended up buying two lipsticks and their mac um lipsticks in their two iconic shades i have been wanting these forever i have never bought any products for mac but me personally i remember seeing my mom um like you know when she was doing modeling or even when she was doing her makeup she would wear mac products and I got some iconic shades some people already know about. Um, made famous by, of course, the woman who played Rachel. I don't remember her name. But in the shade Paramount, MAC Originals. And this is in the shade Russian Red. If anyone who knows me knows that I wear red lipstick almost every day. If not every day, then every other day. is my Sephora bag. This is the biggest bag I have ever had. I've ever received from Sephora and she's pretty heavy um, but I am also in no way shape or form bragging I simply save up my money to be able to afford these things and I think they're nice things to be able to do for myself and so treating yourself is nothing wrong with that once in a while right but this is the receipt we clearly did some damage we ended up spending 
$184. So like almost close to 200 with tax. But yeah, that's what like shows the points. I believe the sale is actually next month. Yeah, don't quote me, but I think the sale is next month. And I only want to pick up like a couple things. I think I'm going to start off with the lip products first. Most lip products, including the MAC products. MAC. MAC products. So I ended up buying from the Sephora collection. And I honestly could have waited until next month to buy these, considering that the Sephora sale is literally coming up next month but i just couldn't wait so i ended up getting two of the sephora collection outrageous effect volume or plump effect lip glosses and i remember seeing on tiktok or it wasn't youtube youtube shorts um this color and i can't remember the youtuber's name i'll try to remember later but um i saw her and her friend they went to sephora this is like a little sephora shopping vlog and I saw them use one of their favorite lipsticks was this one. And this was in the shade 02, which is XXL Nude. And it's this very like nude shade. And this will go so great with that new lip NYX lip liner that I just recently got. And I also got this um, one in the shade Pink Pout. This is supposed to be like a bunny tongue kind of dupe. So currently viral on TikTok. But again, I've been eyeing these products for so long. They've been inside my cart. I'm just going to pick them up and get them. So the first one I got was the Tower 28. This is their, uh, this is their lip jellies. Is that what it's called? Yeah, lip jelly in the shade Spicy. I already have this one in the shade XO. And I have been going back and forth with that lip uh, lip jelly. I just recently started picking it up again. And so I fell in love with it all over again. But of course, I have to have it in the red shade. The next lip product I got was the Say Glossy Bounce. And I'll try to insert a photo of what it actually looks like. Again, I don't want to open up any of these just yet. But this is in the shade Bounce. I was deciphering between this one and, and then the one in Dip or Kiss. I'm going to spend $22 on a lip on a lip product I wanted to have some type of color and so just balance is more like a again it's kind of similar to this color but it's way lighter and it's way more sheer so I can wear this one more of an everyday basic base basis oh my gosh I cannot talk today what is going on but anyway I really like the shade of course I dropped it of course I dropped it I really like the shade and so yeah I uh, can't wait to use that product and also the most iconic thing at Sephora the can you see it can you see it summer fridays lip balm in the shade pink sugar see what the hype was about it's like a girl literally came up with a crate of summer fridays lip balms and she had all in there was birthday cake because everyone was looking for a pink sugar birthday cake or mint or yeah mint or vanilla beige my i turned my eyes to the corner of the room with the merit section was and literally pink sugar was sitting right behind one of the products merit products and i was just like birthday cake is pretty and all and shimmer but i can't do that shimmer every single day give me that pink sugar i literally grabbed it up and i got it for myself i was like this is what i wanted let's purchase it let's buy it um these are face products as well this is the last of it. I use setting sprays often, so I wanted to try something new and more, I guess, um, high end. And then I also got two powders. I've been seeing how these two work well together. I also got this. This is their, I think they're Perfecting Micro Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I got this in the shade uh, Tan. It's super duper tiny too. And I think that's what I love about it. The box makes it look bigger, but it's, I don't think it is. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. Oh, that is bougie. It's so freaking cute. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited to use this product as long, along with the hoodie beauty. And the product I am most excited for, Patrick Ta. I have never splurged on a product, especially something like blush. I seen this shade come out. I think it's a part of his three new shades that came out. But the other two I tried, they were way too like light or like not light, but way too like coral or baby pink. And that's not really my vibe. So I got the shade not too much. I heard it's like kind of like a a twin to she's baked. Shade not too much, guys. When I saw this color, I literally fell in love. I was like, okay. I wanna I wanna blush that's not too not 
Barbie pink, not coral, not red. I want something very neutral. The packaging to me is definitely cheap. For $45 and she gets dirty very, very quickly. That is the end of my haul, guys. Um, I literally am so grateful for all the things I have purchased. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.